Sally Ride, the first American woman in space, was born on May 26, 1951 in Los Angeles. She studied at Stanford University, earning a master's and PhD in physics, before beating out a thousand applicants for a spot in NASA's astronaut program in 1978. In the early years of NASA, the astronaut corps was chosen entirely from fighter pilots. When the shuttle program was initiated, NASA decided they wanted astronauts who had backgrounds in science, engineering, medicine, because they wanted to do experiments in space. Sally Ride had a PhD in physics and so was in a perfect position to do a number of the science experiments that were being done on the space shuttle. On June 18, 1983, flying aboard the Space Shuttle Challenger, Sally Ride became America's first woman in space. Sally Ride was a mission specialist for NASA. That's a type of astronaut who goes on the missions but doesn't fly the shuttle. She was a scientist. She ran experiments and deployed satellites. In those days, it was perceived as unusual even to have a woman pilot, never mind an astronaut. So for her to actually become someone who flies into orbit on the Challenger craft was groundbreaking. She was still from the press getting questions about, well, how do you think your female organs will respond to the space environment, or do you get moody when things don't go right during training? So even in 1983, there were still you know, certain barriers, certain glass ceilings, and Sally Ride certainly shattered that glass ceiling. Sally Ride flew two Challenger missions and was scheduled for a third, but this was canceled due to the tragic Challenger explosion on January 28, 1986. Sally Ride left NASA in 1987 and was a science fellow at Stanford. Then she moved to University of California, San Diego, where she was a professor of physics. Sally Ride did a tremendous amount to advance science education, in particular to attract uh, young girls to science. Sally Ride founded Sally Ride Science in 2001 to advance science education for young kids and authored five educational science books. Her work on inspiring young people to go into science is especially important in America today. We need as many people as possible to get excited about helping America become competitive in a technical world. Sally Ride will always be remembered as the first American woman in space, but I think her legacy is really the work that she did in education in bringing the excitement of science, space exploration, to kids at the middle school level. Sally Ride died in Los Angeles, California on July 23, 2012 from pancreatic cancer. Sally Ride changed what it looked like to be an astronaut and made it possible for millions of girls in America to dream about going into space.